Hey there, I'm Eki, and if you think there's anything wrong with the video, make sure to stick around until the end. Now, enjoy.
after the last time I uploaded a size comparison video, lots of people have asked for a below zero version of it. But I thought, why make two separate videos if I can just combine all of the creatures on Planet 4546B that we know of into a single video? So that's what I've done here. In my older video, there were also a few errors such as me calling the Jelly Ray a Ghost Ray and stuff like that, which I have fixed now. And I apparently got the size of about five to six creatures all wrong, at least more than just a couple centimeters. So I fixed that here as well. If you don't believe me that any of these creatures are at this size, you can check this yourself in game. Just go into free cam mode and set the speed to zero. Then spawn another creature, look at it and type size ref into the console and it will spawn a human right next to it. And you'll see that, yeah, they are actually this big. Personally, I was super shocked when I found out how big the sand shark and the blood crawler actually were. But what about you? Which of these was the most shocking to you? A lot of people have also said that I got the gargantuan leviathan wrong in my last video. But they didn't read the pinned comment, because in that I explained that this is the model from the Return of the Ancients mod, which is actually 5 kilometers long. If there's anything else I got wrong that I didn't explain here, uh, make sure to let me know in the comments, but I don't think so. You might also have noticed that I grouped a few fish together. That's because they are very similarly sized in game and I just wasn't able to make an accurate size representation because it's really hard to grasp the size that detailed in game. So I decided to just pack them into groups and do my best to somewhat get their size correct. And of course also huge shout out to Slendy who's one of the devs working on the Return of the Ancients mod for providing the Rocket and Seamoth models. They would have been a pain to actually put together. I tried with the prawn suit and if you didn't notice the arms are not textured because I just couldn't get it to work. It is really hard but thanks to him I managed to get those models. I really hope you enjoyed the video though and make sure to share it with your friends to maybe scare them before they play some Nautica the next time. But that was already it again. I really hope you enjoyed it and as always I'll see you next time. Good. Bye!